this is so zoomed in. Let's do that again. Hey guys. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the K and channel. I know my voice sounds weird. That's because um, I'm a little bit under the weather. As you guys seen in the last vlog, I was talking about we have um, sweatpants over our leggings so we don't get sick. And then I got sick. So, got my tea right here um, with some honey and lemon. Let me sip this real quick. Hopefully that will you know, make me better. I already feel like I've been getting better, but anyway, as you guys already know from the title, this is gonna be a story time. Jazz hands, jazz hands, jazz hands. Um, hmm. zoom out, zoom out a little, just a little bit. Eee, I know, backdrop, backdrop alert. Oh my God, I don't even know where to fucking sit. Alright guys, let me just get to the point. So, this is a story time live from the dorm of K and y'all. Before we get into this video, take one second to hit that subscribe button. It's red, it's free, it's free, okay? You can subscribe to me. You ain't even gotta watch when I first post the video. You can get to it eventually. But just subscribe, y'all. Help a sister out. It's free. It don't cost you nothing. And number two, look at my nails. Look at my nails. Hey, 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 hey. Look at my nails. Look at my nails. They're red. All right. So this story time is going to be about the time that my Haitian parents found out your girl was smoking weed. Okay? I couldn't hide it anymore. I started to become a pothead and they found out so without further ado let's get right into the story okay y'all so um to start this story off I should tell you that I was in about 12th grade and if there's anyone who is under age let's say 14 and below don't smoke weed but even 14 year olds shouldn't smoke weed in my opinion but if you do it hey you're doing it all right i don't nobody ever died from it boom all right so um to start this story off i was in about 12th grade as i said and um i i believe it was a friday it was a friday because i remember i had school that day and fridays even though my school got out fucking dumb late on fridays we get out a smidge early in senior year you can kind of sign yourself out you were 18 plus at this point but i think it was after school and i went over one of my good friend's house um this friend of mine lived not too far from the school so this friday we decided that after school we were going to go to this person's house and spark up so that's exactly what i did and if i'm looking down it's because i'm looking at my phone um i'm just trying to remember the events as they happened so basically like I said, it's a Friday after school. We went to this person's house to go spark up. Now, I forget how many blunts we did that day because my memory is not what it used to be. Like I said, I'm smoking. So one of the side effects of smoking weed is that your memory is not what it used to be. I think it kills your brain cells. I'm not sure. I'm all over the place because I can't remember shit. I smoke too much. Anyway. <laughs> Um, 
So I remember going to this person's house after school, having a couple blunts, and then going home. Now one thing that I always try to do as a high schooler and as a product of Haitian parents, whenever I was done smoking weed, I tried to do this thing called air out. Now, airing out means that Oh, the backdrop fell. I'm back, y'all. Hopefully it's fixed. Um, the backdrop had just fell. But like I said, um, as a product of patient parents and as a young person, I would try to do this thing called airing out. The backdrop is falling again. If it continues to fall, we just gonna go ahead and scrap it and I'm gonna do the video without the backdrop because I don't have time. But basically, um, I would do this thing called airing out. And airing out basically means that um, you kind of, after you're done smoking, for me, it meant that you let the wind just, ah, you let that shit just blow and blow. Hopefully to take away the weed smell, you would spritz yourself with hella spray. You know, just, you don't want to go into the house smelling like butt smelling like loud smelling like a skunk so um this day i remember um i was very extremely tired and i probably had some weed on me now if you have weed on you and you don't um tuck it or wrap it enough it's gonna smell so i remember coming home and going straight to my room and getting straight into bed because i was high i was tired I just came from a long day of school. Um, I just smoked. If you don't know, the side effects of smoking is that it makes you sleepy. So I just came from a long day of school. I just smoked. I'm tired. Like I want to get in bed. I want the first thing I want to do is take a nap. Then when I wake up, I want to eat. Cause I have really bad. I have a really bad case of munchies. Sorry, y'all. Like I said, I'm sick, and I don't want y'all to see that no dribble dribble. But eggs. Okay. La, la, la. basically I get home I go straight into my bed and I'm laying in bed and I'm laying in bed with my eyes closed and all the next thing I hear is that my mom busts into my room like a real Haitian does don't knock no hey excuse me just open the door just bust into your room and now I'm in bed like, oh gosh, like why is she opening the door like that? I already know in my head something's going down. But since I'm so high and I'm tired, she's just nudging me. Now my mom, I feel like she already like started to get hit because my airing out method wasn't really working. And so sometimes when I would come home, she'd smell a type of smell and she knew that something was up. But she thought it was cigarettes. She didn't know it was weed. <clears throat> Until one day, uh, this is just a little backstory. My sister came home, my oldest sister. Hey, fan trees. My oldest sister came home and my mom was just like, oh, you smell like cigarettes. And my sister stupidly was like, oh, no, it's not cigarettes. Um, my friend and them was smoking in the car. So now she knows what the um, smell of weed, like she can connect that smell to weed. Before she thought it was cigarettes, but now she knows it's weed. Hold on, y'all. So I'm back without the backdrop. Um, I told y'all if it kept falling, I was just going to go ahead and scrap it because like, who has time? Who has the time? Certainly not me. <coughs> I'm sick. Like, come on. Like have some a little sympathy for your girl so back to the story i'm in bed my mom busts into my room and she's just like kachana if y'all don't know my real name is katiana named this channel k Ange because my name starts with a k my middle name is a angie k Ange. boom there you go anyway um so she busts into my room and she's just like kachana do you smell that like like, do you smell that? Da, 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 da? Like I told y'all, I'm tired. I'm high. I'm trying to take a nap. So I'm like, mommy, please leave me alone. And this is probably how I sounded too because I'm tired. So you know when you're tired, you get that tired voice. I'm like, mommy, just leave me alone. I'm trying to sleep. She's just like, are you high? 
And at first I tried to ignore the question. I'm just like, what, huh? I'm tired. You know, you know how we do as kids. She's just like, Kachana, are you high? And I'm just like, huh? Yeah. I admit to it, guys. My high ass admits to being high to a Haitian mother. Oh my God, worst mistake. So she's just like, Kachana, are you high? And I'm like, huh? Yeah, yeah. And she's just like, oh my gosh, she starts going off. She's like, oh, she's high, this and that. Oh, I'm going to tell your dad, this and that. And I'm like, mommy, I'm tired. Like, can we talk about this tomorrow? Can we please talk about this tomorrow? I'm tired. Guys, I'm high. I'm tired. I don't want to take her yelling. I don't want to take her screaming. Haitians are very dramatic. I don't want to take this animated dramatic scene when all I wanted to do was come home from school, smoke, and take a nap. Anyways, I take the nap. While before I take the nap, I'm just like, shit, shit, another did that. Now I'm gonna have to deal with this the next day. Next day I wake up, it's a Saturday. School's out, baby. Ain't no way you can just like hop, go to school and avoid and avoid the whole conversation. So she's just like, oh, last night you came home to get un sant, which means there was a smell and you told me you was high. Do you remember that? And I'm just kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she's just like, oh, who are you smoking with? This, that, and the third. And she's trying to like, she's basically trying to get information from me. But I'm not really, I'm not really here to divulge, divulge, whatever, tell the information. I'm not going to put my friends who I was smoking with in jeopardy. Because if I tell you who I was smoking with, you're going to try to call their parents to tell their parents they're smoking. And... I'm sorry, I'm a G, I'm gonna take my punishment. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not no snitch. Like if this, if I basically snitched on myself, I'm not gonna tell you loopholes and get everybody else involved. So the next day she's just talking to me. She's just like, Translation, she was saying, you know when you're high you can kill me you can kill your sisters look at the people on the news um whenever they kill their families they're always high and i'm just like haitians 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 not even haitians immigrant parents period well maybe not jamaican parents because you know that's kind of like the ganja the ganja just rolls in their culture but for haitians my mom just she don't play that she would always say weed is a drug, not a plant, but a drug. So when she found out, when I tiredly confessed that I was smoking, she thinks I'm doing hard drugs. She thinks I'm on some Zans, some Percocets, some Coke, basically, that I'm going to get so high, I'm just going to go in the kitchen, grab a knife, and start eh, 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 and everybody. So basically, I'm just like, mummy no like that that's not gonna happen but i didn't really want to entertain the conversation because the more you try to the haitians haitian parents they're gonna think what they think regardless no matter how you try to say no mommy is this or no daddy is that they're gonna be like i don't want to hear it this is what you're doing so i just kind of let her talk and i was just kind of exhausted with it but she did tell me that she was gonna tell my dad so um now I'm shook. Remind you guys, this is senior year. My older sister Taina had already went off to college and my dad was paying her tuition. Now it came my turn. I also need my school bill paid. I do not want her to tell my father that I'm smoking weed so he can cut me off financially. Another thing Haitians like to do, if you don't fucking follow their rules, they will cut you off financially. If he got set, okay? Like, you're not going to get nothing from them, okay? They will cut you off financially. They're like, oh, you want to be grown? Be grown. Pay for everything yourself. Matter of fact, get the out my house. All right, so fast forward to the story. I'm shook. I'm like, yo, she's going to tell my dad. She's going to tell my dad. So I had to get some backup. I had to get some people 
to view my side of the story so that they can help me out and help her not tell my dad. Her meaning my mom. I need a sip. I need a sip of something, y'all. Throat's kind of dry. So anyway, I go to my older sister, my oldest, oldest sister, Fantrice. Remember, if y'all are paying attention, she was the one who came home smelling like weed one day. And when my mom asked her, why does she smell like cigarettes? Why does she smell like that? She's just like, oh, my friends and them were smoking in the car. So she was basically the reason my mom connected this specific smell to weed. Before she just thought it was cigarettes, but now because of her she was the reason she knows it's weed so i go to her and i'm just like shashel because that's what we call her you know haitians always have different names for their kids kind of like they call you by your nickname or your middle name they don't really call you by your american or first name so i go to her and i'm like shashel mommy's gonna tell daddy that i've been smoking please can you just help me out like can you tell her not to tell him because I need to go to school like I'm trying to get this degree and if she tells him he's not going to pay for my tuition that's a fear I really had because at this time I think me and my father we wasn't as close so if we're already not as close and then my mom goes tell him that I'm smoking weed He's gonna cut me off. Like I said, Haitian parents, strict. You smoking? We not even really in, fuck with each other like that. We're not even, you're not even really in my good graces. And you wanna smoke weed? Oh, you're gonna save me a couple thousand dollars. Like, I'm not paying for your school. So I'm talking to my sister. I'm like, please, can you convince her not to tell my dad? Because if she tells him, we all have the same father. I was like, please, if you tell her not to tell daddy, then maybe he'll pay for my tuition. Like, I got to go to school. I really don't want her to tell on me. So my sister's just like, mm, okay, I'll see what I could do. So now I'm getting a little bit relaxed. I'm like, okay, Shesha's going to talk to mommy. Like, this whole thing will blow over. So, you know, it's a, it's a small house, so I hear my mom come home from work that day. I hear my sister go into her room, and she's just like, Mommy, you know if you tell Daddy, he's not going to pay her tuition. I don't think you should tell him. Just talk to her. But you know if you tell him, he's not going to pay her tuition. And that's also going to hurt you because I know you want Kachana. Me, hey, K. I know you want her to go to college. So my mom's just like, all right, all right. My mom kind of like fought it for a moment. She's just like, no, he needs to know. He needs to know what she's doing, blah, 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 blah. But because my sister said the college and my dad's not going to pay the tuition thing, then my mom was kind of on board because she didn't have the money to pay my tuition. Like, I know she'll work her ass off to try to give it to me. But at the end of the day, in reality, he got it like that more than you do. So if you want him to pay for your daughter that y'all had together to go to school, then um, don't tell him because he, he if you tell him, he's not going to pay my tuition. So my mom agrees not to tell him. So I'm chilling for a couple of days. I'm like, hey, hey, I still go to college. Hey, hey, mind you, I think during this time, it was, I already applied to all my schools. I had already applied to all my schools and I was just getting acceptance letters or not even getting acceptance letters yet. I was waiting for acceptance letters. So long story short, one day I'm sitting in my living room this is when I was still living in Dorchester. I was still living on Geneva Ave. And I'm just in the living room just watching TV. I get a call from my father. I already knew what it was about. My dad don't call me like that. We call him. So for you to be calling my phone, something must be up. So now I'm shook. Not only am I shook, I'm mad. Because I'm like, she had to have told him. She said she wasn't going to tell him, come on, like, I, come on, I need my um, tuition paid. When he calls me, I kind of feel like a little bit of betrayal. Like, I thought the plan was not to tell him. Anyway, y'all, I pick up the phone. I pick up the phone for my Haitian father. Right. 
So he calls me and he's just like, I'm like, hi, daddy. He's like, hey, you know, already monotone, already upset. So I'm like, what's up? And he's just like, what's this I hear about you smoking? Now, y'all, as I said before, my memory isn't the best. So I'm going to try to give y'all the conversation to as much as I remember it. I was just like, who said I was smoking? And he was, you know, trying to play dumb. American kids, y'all know we all do it. We're just like, what? Huh? What are you talking about? But he's just like, your mom tell me you smoking. Your mom tell me you smoking with your friends. Kachana, don't lie to me. And so now I'm just like, all right, all right. Like, I got to be a man about it. I got to be a man of my word. Yes, woman of my word. But I find it funny to say I'm a man of my word just because I'm stupid like that. So I was just like, you know what? Let me take my punishment. Let me, I already told my mom. Might as well tell him, right? Might as well just get this secret, this load off my back. And whatever happens, happens. And if I don't go to school, if he decides not to pay my tuition, it's going to be your fault because you wanted to snitch. <laughs> so anyway, I'm like, he's just like, yeah, your mom already told me. He was smoking. Like, don't play dumb with me. Da, 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 da. And so I was just like yes i've been smoking and he was just like why why are you smoking like all right i switched my battery y'all hold on let me zoom out 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 not in all right i switched my battery i'm back so the story where i left off my dad is just like why why are you smoking and i'm looking for excuses i'm not gonna say i'm smoking because i want to smoke i'm not gonna say i'm smoking because my friends are smoking i'm gonna say i'm smoking because i want to go to sleep that it helps me with stress that it helps me eat more whatever excuse that i need to say for you to get off my back and so my dad is just like i don't want to hear that bullshit my dad my dad all right he's funny like i swear bullshit used to be his favorite word but he's just like i don't want to hear that bullshit if you can't sleep, you could go to the doctors. They could give you a medicine for that. You don't have to fucking do drugs. You don't have to smoke weed. See me? I never smoke weed a day in my life. I never do drugs. Mind you, love you, daddy. But he's a heavy drinker. He's a heavy cigarette smoker. You're smoking tobacco. Tobacco is way worse than weed. Okay. But I digress. So I'm just listening to him tell me this and it, then I'm just listening like on the phone like he's saying he never smoked weed a day in his life. He don't want to hear that bullshit blah 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 blah. So I'm like you coming at me I'm just going to fucking stay silent. I can't yell at you back but I don't have to engage. So then he asks me a question. He's like who are you smoking with? My mom asked me the same thing. Remember y'all I'm a man of my word. I'm not about to snitch on my friends. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm like, uh, uh, some people from Brockton. <laughs> He's just like, how you know these people? I'm like, they used to work with me at the zoo. I used to work at the zoo, Franklin Park Zoo in Boston. I used to work there as a camp counselor. So I'm just like, uh, I met them at the zoo. So he's just like, um, where do they live? I'm like, I don't know where they live. They just come down to Boston and we'll smoke in the car sometimes and then they'll go back home. And my dad was just like, so you mean to tell me you're smoking with people and you don't even know where they live? I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> like I said, y'all, I had to come up with something because I'm not about to snitch on my friends and have you. Sorry, people are like walking in and out. It's Thursday, so it's Thirsty Thursday. So I think my roommates are probably drinking. And if they get a little loud, I apologize. But if you can't hear them, let's continue the story. So I told him I'm smoking with these people from Brockton, that I don't know where they live, that they come down to Boston, pick me up, we smoke, and then they drop me off back home, and that I met them at the zoo. So he's just like, you mean to tell me that you're smoking with people that you don't even know? I'm going to change your number. I'm going to change your number so um, they don't contact you anymore. And I'm like, change my number. My guy, these are my friends. You change my number, I'm giving my friends my new number, and we're still going to smoke. <laughs> but, uh... I was just like, no, don't tell my, don't change my number. Like, I'm not going to do it anymore. Da, 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 da. Then I had this brilliant idea to kiss ass. 
Oh my God. I don't know if this is um, every Haitian dad, but for my dad specifically, he loves when you gas him up. Gas him up, baby. He loves to hear how great he is, how great of a person he is, how great of a father he is. And since I'm already mad at my mom for um, telling this information, this information that I smoke, uh, smoked, I'm gonna go kiss his ass. And mind you, I hear my mother's tiny footsteps trying to creep up into the living room where she hears we're having this conversation and she trying to stand behind the door. She trying to listen. So like I told y'all, I was already upset. I already felt betrayed. I was already sad. So you know what I told him? I was like, thank you, daddy. Thank you for calling me and talking about it, even though he was yelling at me. I was like, thank you for not yelling at me like mommy did. Thank you for just calling me to talk about it. Like, I won't do it anymore. I appreciate you so much. Like, I don't, I don't want to do it anymore. Like, thank you for calling me and talking about it and not screaming at me. Thank you for not judging me. I'm kissing ass, y'all. Kissing ass. And he's just like, gotcha, gotcha. Y'all seen Jalen in my last vlog. They call me Kacha when I'm at home. He's like, Kacha, we friends. We used to be best friends. We used to tell each other everything. You don't need to smoke. Just call me. Call daddy. Just talk to just talk to me like we used to talk all the time. I'm not going to harsh on you. Harsh on you. AKA, I'm not going to be harsh on you. I'm not going to harsh on you. Did I ever harsh on you guys? Like, call me. So now he's gassed because I compared him to my mom. I'm like, yeah, you know, mommy was yelling at me. Mommy was making me feel bad. But you called me and you had a conversation with me like a civil person. Thank you. So he was just like, now he's gassed. So now the conversation about to be cut short. He's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to be best friends. Just call me. Don't do it anymore. Like, you know, just talk to me if you need to. You don't have to do that stuff. I never smoked weed a day in my life. Blase, blase, blase. So I'm like, yeah, daddy, thank you. And then he's just like, so should I change your number? I'm like, no, 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 no. Who wants to get a new number? As a teenager, all your friends already have your number. My number was mad easy. I think it was like 505-617-505-0336. Like, the numbers was mad easy. I had two fucking fives, two fucking threes, and a six. I'm like... I can remember that 617-505-0336 so I'm like no don't change my number no you don't need to I'm not gonna smoke with them anymore blah 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 hangs up my mom's like what'd he say bruh what'd he say what'd he say excuse me aren't you the snitch didn't you tell him I was just like nothing Yo, I'm rude, y'all. I'm rude, I'm rude, I'm rude, I'm rude. I cannot stress this enough. When I get mad, I get defensive, I become very mo moody, I become very rude. Like, no. So she's like, what'd he say? I'm like, nothing. And then she kind of like feels my vibe that I'm not going to tell her. And she walks away. No, she was just like, oh, what'd he say? Like, what's going to happen? Whatever. Is he going to still pay your school? I was just like, I don't know. Didn't you tell him I was smoking? That. Y'all know what my mother said? Y'all want to know what my mother said? I'm vexed. I'm like, you said you was going to tell him I was smoking. Didn't you tell him I was smoking? She said, I didn't say you were smoking. I said you was in the car with people who could have been smoking, <laughs> so for him to talk to you. I'm like, bruh, 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 bruh. Once you mention my name and smoking in the same sentence, it doesn't matter if I'm in a car with people who's smoking. It doesn't matter if you said I was at the gym and people were smoking around me. Once you say my name and the word weed comes up, he's automatically going to think I'm smoking. If I'm around people that are smoking, what do you think I'm doing? So I'm like, mommy, just please, please. Like, I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm just like, no, I, I'm not going to tell you. So she leaves. And I don't get in trouble for my dad because I kiss ass. <laughs> so I go to sleep. Um, I finish watching. Like, I can't even watch TV no more. I just get up, shower, go to bed. Why y'all? Why? You guys, you guys, you guys. Why do I wake up the next day and I have a new number? This dude really changed my number. 
I told him not to change my number, that I wasn't going to do it anymore. I told him, like, he ain't got to worry about that. Like, I don't even talk to the people from Brockton anymore. This dude woke up and he still changed my number so the people from Brockton couldn't contact me anymore. Do you know that they're still going to be in my contacts and I can still give them my new number? I can text them like, hey, yo. But either way, the people from Brockton don't exist. It was just an excuse, like I said. So now I'm kind of mad that I got a new number. It doesn't matter. I gave all my friends my new number. And long story short, guys, this story time was about how my Haitian parents found out I was smoking. Do they know I'm still smoking to this day? My dad do. Did my mama know? I don't know. She likes to pretend to forget things. If she don't see you doing it, she likes to pretend to forget. But I'm pretty sure they both know that I still smoke. And at this point in my life, I'm not trying to hide it. I'm not. I'm not. It's legal. <laughs> it's legal now. It's, at least in Massachusetts. It's legal. I mean, I'm, I think, I'm pretty sure it's legal all, all over the U.S. But like I said, y'all, I be smoking so my memory is not what it used to be. Like, I can forget things like that. But, um, guys, if you like this story... Give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more story time videos like this, um, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you ever got caught smoking with your parents. Please. Because I just, I don't want to feel like the only one. I mean, I know my sister was smoke. my sisters were smoking, like, they would, my sisters, they're, like, more, my older sisters, they're, like, more social smokers, like, they'll smoke here and there, like, if you pass the blunt to them, they're gonna take a hit, but they don't go out and buy weed, like, I was the pothead, you know what I mean? So, yeah, just let me know if you ever got caught smoking, if you ever had to tell your parents that you were smoking because they knew, um... Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. We're ending off with jazz hands.